guys. October 7th, I'm in a new spot. Actually, I'm south of where I sat yesterday on the ground. I wanted to get back here yesterday and figure out if there was a piece of the puzzle we were missing. I'm on a pretty auto right now. Now granted, part of the reason it's hot is because of squirrels. There's a ton of uh, chewed off branches right here. But I think <laughs> I think we're really close to bedding to my north. So I'm hoping this is a closer spot. It's super warm right now. It was like 72 on the drive up and I think by the time I got here it was in the high 60s. I got about a just under two hours to sit. It's a decent haul back here in comparison to some of the other spots so hopefully it's worth the, the effort. Thank you. 
Just put a shot on a doe. The shot looked a little high on the entrance. I think I probably got top of lung, offside lung for sure. So, I sorry, I didn't get any of the, the post. I saw her careen off over the edge. It's uh, probably been five or seven minutes. I'm gonna very calmly start to get down. I'm not gonna, I might look for first blood, but then I'm just gonna kind of be cool and collective and uh, go from there. It didn't quite go how I planned. They actually skidded across the ridge side over there and then I was a little nervous because they hit the further oak that's on the edge of the ridge, but they ended up coming right over to me. So I worked out pretty good in the end. So like I said, we're gonna slowly get down while I have good light because we're using the mobile setup, look for first blood and go from there, but not too shabby. All right, guys, we're down from the tree. I just found first blood. It's been a little over 20 minutes. I'm gonna follow it very carefully. I think it was a really good shot, so I'm not gonna worry too much about pushing it. I'll probably just go 15 yards or so, just, just checking out blood sign and go from there though, just to make sure. All right, guys, no guarantee, but if you... There's my lighted knock. Well, it was just my arrow, which is okay. We'll uh, keep searching. I'm thinking the broadhead side is gone for good, which is unfortunate, but I'm still on blood, so... We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Next morning, didn't find her last night. Uh, we're back up here on the property, and uh, I got my dad with me. We reviewed the shot quite a bit last night, and I shared it with some buddies. And I'm thinking we're either gonna find her here pretty shortly, or uh, she's probably gonna live. It looked like I hit high and forward, as you guys probably saw, and. Probably managed to scoot over the top or the front lung and in front of the off lung or something along those lines. I don't know how I didn't spine her to be honest, but we're gonna keep looking and do our due diligence and then uh, be back at it. Well, we haven't been at it very long, but I'm not getting a good feeling. I've it's got to be over a half mile already, and the blood was never wicked good. It just had that textbook muscle hit type of vibe to it. We're certainly gonna do our best, like I said, and keep looking, but I'm thinking she lived. I got probably 18 to 20 inches of penetration on her, so we'll see what happens. I feel really bad if we don't end up finding her, but as much as it's a cop out, this type of stuff unfortunately happens in the bow hunting world. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and keep looking. Well, we uh, we called the search. We uh, found last blood. Then we grid searched a little bit and uh, just with all the video footage we have and everything, we uh, we're deciding it's a non-lethal hit. There was never any bedding sign like she bedded down in a big puddle of blood. It was just 150 yards of scrambling from her and then just a very meandering like uh, trail from there. So I think she's going to be perfectly fine. Hopefully I'll get another crack at her. I don't know what my plan is for the rest of the day, whether I'll come back out. I might take the day to rest up. Last night and this morning have been pretty taxing, so. All I can say is you gotta take moments like these and uh, use them for some motivation, learn from them, and keep going forward. It's unfortunately part of bow hunting. Anybody that's perfect probably hasn't been at it very long, so. It is what it is at the end of the day. No reason to get too stuck on it, unfortunately, because it's only gonna do harm. So I'm gonna hunt hard the rest of the season and hopefully get some rem uh, rede redemption, there we go. 
Hopefully get some redemp redemption. Oh my goodness. Hopefully get some redemption. Uh, so, see you next time.